So I finally got my Gaylords. Uh, I was supposed to get them last week, but uh, my supplier, uh, you know, apparently uh, they were falling behind on other people's orders, and because uh, they order, they also, you know, they also give it to other people who buy in big uh, truck loads. And unfortunately, so I only, I can only buy like ten at a time. You know, they put me behind, but at least hey. You know, at least I got some. That's that's all that counts. And these are the books right here. Let me see if I can somehow. Let me see. I would have to stop the video. All right. As you can see. Oops. Sorry. All right. So as you can see, all these books. Uh. You know, they come from Goodwills, wherever. I don't. I, to be honest, I don't know where they get all of them, but. It looks like majority of them come from the actual Goodwills. Hopefully some of these are good. Uh, we were checking some of them while we were loading them in. And we found a, uh, I believe it was a $20 book, FBA book. So at least that tells us there's something, you know. Uh, but you never know. They could have just put some good ass books at the top so that we can, <laughs> so that we so that we, they, uh, we think that they're actually good. But let me see. I, I kind of want to look at some of these up. But unfortunately, you know, I only have one phone and I'm, re I'm recording with this. So I, I would have to put a little listing. So here's the ISBN. So maybe I'll look that up and put it on uh, the screen. If I'm not too lazy to actually do that. There's another one. I'm just going to look at some of them that look like they might be worth something. How to get signed. I don't think that might be worth something. But it's pretty cool because there's a lot of them. Uh, and some Gaylords, it looks like some of them are have been there for a while because some of them are really like jacked up see like some of these well i guess this one's not that bad but i mean i'm assuming that the ones are the reason why some of these here at the top are really bad though is because uh they put a gate or, or a pallet on top of this you know another gate lord on top of it so it kind of squishes them like this one see you know all messed up and it's kind of messed up i mean it's still good honestly but it's it just looks messed up and we have one Gaylord that it literally looks like it just got water damage on top. But it could have just been those books, you know? Like that one right there. That one looks really nasty. Um, I'm still not exactly sure how we're going to do this, honestly. Because I know, I mean, I'd done this before. But it was only one Gaylord. And it was just horrible, horrible Gaylords. I mean, honestly, I, I didn't even make my money. I, I ended up losing money on that Gaylord. So... But actually, these look way better. I can already tell you. And for one, we already checked some of them. And they were actually worth FBA books, you know. But, like, these little kid ones, what we're thinking is putting them in a the lot on eBay and selling them as kid books lot, you know. At least that's what our that's what we're thinking. We want, basically, to be... Uh, our workflow is going to be e uh, FBA, then Merchant Fulfilled, whatever we can do FBA... Then I believe we want to do, uh, this is going to become like a cross between eBay or selling it to uh, sell back your books. Because we have this bulk uh, thing. Uh, actually, I, I was going to send uh, some books to them a while back ago. I made a video of it. But some one of my friends uh, who does who does books too, he actually is the one that, you know, that got those galos for us too. That he's going to be helping me with this. Uh, he saw the, all the books and he saw that they were all pretty good and he wanted them. So he gave me money for them. So he's the one that bought them from me. So I'll be sending. But once we start this, you'll start doing the whole selling it back to them. He just he had nothing since we were waiting for like two, three weeks to get these pallets. Of, you know, he had nothing else to do. 
So he wanted to do that for at least for that, you know. And some of these books look really good, honestly. They don't look too bad, you know. Like honestly, you can just lock these up on eBay. But we don't have to do it by genre. Yeah, to be honest, I don't I don't even that's only the only thing that I I just don't know. Because I don't really read books, honestly. Uh like what genre is this? You know? Like what the f what is this? Like I I don't even know. It's it's a novel. I don't know. That's gonna be the hard thing for me. This is uh uh separating by genres. Some of them of course are you know they're they're really simple, like cookbooks and stuff like that, textbooks. But and kid books are easy, but everything else is like what? You know? Like this, I I don't even know the law, so I would say like old west western maybe western books, but this one's really jacked up, so I'll probably just throw this away. But stuff like that, uh, you know, we want to try to maximize as much of the money as possible so we can get them back. I think most of our money is literally going to come from for making our money back from these gaylords, are going to come from sell back your books and or selling it locally, and eBay too. We've seen a lot of lots on eBay. Where people are selling like crazy, you know, like just lot them up as with general, uh, uh, what do you call it? Genres or, hold on, give me one sec. Lotting up in genres or just whatever, you know, whatever makes sense, honestly. You know, business books. Like this, I mean, this one kind of, this one's probably not worth nothing anymore. It's a custom one. See who knows how how much this one is. Probably old. I mean, it's old. It's not gonna sell for anything. This one maybe. Here's the ISBN. I gotta look that up. Kid books. I seen this one before. It's not worth anything. I think. You know, it's just it's a lot of them. Honestly, I got ten of them. And then next week, or oh, actually next Monday. Today's Saturday, so not this Monday, but the next Monday, we're actually gonna get a. Uh, we're gonna get ten more, but we're gonna get ten more of, of books, and we're also gonna get DVDs and CDs and video games. So we're gonna get almost twenty pallets, and I just don't have room for twenty pallets, you know. Uh, this one's this is ten of them, so actually eleven because of the one in the corner, and I can probably fit another. What one, two, four, six, eight, maybe another eight, another eight pallets over there if I move everything, but still we're gonna be like packed, you know, and I, I to be honest, I don't know how I'm gonna do it next week or the, the next monday I, I I don't I honestly do not know at all, but eh, you know, just gotta do something, and so this one look this one looks pretty cool. Let's see if that one's worth anything. It looks like someone checked it because uh, it's already ripped. But some of these are, you know, like like right now. See, they, they were selling it for five bucks. A lot of people don't buy it if it's only going to make like a dollar, two dollars. But since we're getting it so cheap, it might be worth like three, four dollars. You know, might be worth sending this one in. Probably not though. Probably shitty, but you never know. You know, like some of these look really good, honestly. They just They're just dusty. But they're really good. ISBN. You know. I think I think most of our money, honestly, is going to come from lots of books. Like, lotting them up on eBay. I can already tell you that some of these books are not going to be worth anything. And instead of just throwing them away. Because I think the paper market is down right now. And nobody wants paper. <laughs> so, or it's really, really cheap. And it's not worth, you know, paying someone or getting a truck and dumping them so it might be worth it just to lot them up you know and give them or we're even thinking of make i'm thinking of making like a yard sale honestly once i get like enough and i know how to do the genres of the books once i get used to it i'm actually gonna make a little mini book sale yard sale I, I, I don't know if it works but i'll try it you know i'll probably make nothing honestly but you never know i mean i done like i said i i given some of these away before like some of these like the one i did way before where i lost money i given them away and people actually come and they even give me money just because they uh because i explained to them that you know that i didn't make anything so maybe they just felt sorry <laughs> you know 
Be like this poor bastard just lost a lot of money. And look at this one. I don't even know if these are worth anything, but god damn, this thing is heavy as hell. I know there was a book here somewhere on top that was actually worth something. I just don't remember which one it was. Maybe this one. I don't know. Well, I don't want to look through so many of them because I don't want to have to. Because then I have to edit the video and I don't like editing. And there's that one. Okay, that's the last one. I don't want to. Otherwise, I have to edit forever. But yeah, guys. I, I am really excited. I, I really want to see how much money I make. Um, hopefully, I make enough. Hopefully, it's worth it, honestly. Because if it's not worth it at all, I'm not going to continue doing this. But for people who are watching this and they want uh, uh they want to know about the Gaylords of CDs, I believe I already said it. Basically, they're going to come next week. So next Monday, not this Monday coming up, but the next Monday. And we're going to see uh, and see what's up, basically. All right. See you guys later.